Hello. I have to apologize in advance because I'm not really used to talking to myself, but here it goes. Buying a fun sports car is much more affordable and realistic than many people think. Even on a limited budget, you too can be driving a quick car, handles well, and turns heads. There may be some sacrifices that you'll have to make, though. So I bought my 1997 Mazda Miata for $4,000 cash. It was a pretty good deal because I found the right seller at the right time. For that amount of money, you can get a clean two-seater convertible with rear-wheel drive, stick shift, and endless miles of joy. I got the cash by saving my money from two summer internships and selling my old car, which was a 2002 Chevy Malibu. Obviously you need some kind of income or another car to sell to be able to buy a sports car, but there are many ways of saving money that can make it possible for anyone including you, with a little bit of discipline to own a sports car. Here are 10 things that you might not have thought of that you can do to afford your own. Plan on it being your only car. Most people who own a sports car own at least one other more practical car. That's not realistic though for many of us on limited budgets. So be prepared to drive your sports car every day of the year. You may have to sacrifice practicality, trunk size, sound systems, air conditioning, or power windows. But in the end, it's totally worth it. Buy when it's cold. Used car prices fluctuate wildly with the weather, especially sports cars. In the spring, people are getting their tax returns and they're looking forward to cruising around in the summer, so prices go up. The increase in demand can drive up prices by over 15% when it's warm. In the fall and winter, most sports cars are either getting ready to or they are spending more time sitting in garages than they are being driven. This means that many people see them as just a thing taking up space in their garage, and they're more interested in getting rid of them in that time of year. At the same time, there are fewer people who are looking to buy sports cars because they're impractical for the winter. Many people are saving up for the holidays too. This means that there's an increase in supply and a decrease in demand, which is the perfect recipe for low prices. Don't have kids. This may be too late for some people, but for everyone else, this is probably the easiest way to save mountains of money. A child will cost you upwards of $245,000 in the United States, and that's before they even go to college. That's $13,611 a year. You could buy an early 2000s Porsche Boxster in good condition every year. You could buy a Ferrari 458 Italia in 18 years, even if you subtract the cost of contraception. Don't get married, or at least find a significant other who appreciates cars. A traditional American wedding can cost over $10,000, and that's after the engagement ring and the years of dating. To most people, that's totally worth it. I personally have no problem splurging on a good date every month or so. But if you're strapped for cash and you really want that dream car more than anything else, you can either put off the romance for a few years, or even better, find someone who likes cars and will enthusiastically support you. Have a bit of patience, but don't be afraid to jump on a good deal. Spend half an hour or so every day checking Craigslist, eBay, and local classifieds. It's common for people who need cash quickly because of unforeseen life events to sell their sports car first. They will often be willing to sell it at a reduced price in order to get the cash quickly. The guy I bought my Miata from needed cash quickly to repair some damage to his house, so he was willing to give me a pretty good deal. He even threw in some brakes and pads. That being said, beware of deals that seem way too good to be true, because they always are. Always meet the owner of the car in person test drive the vehicle, and have it inspected by an independent mechanic before you exchange any money. Pay with cash. This has a couple of advantages. One, you won't be tempted to overstretch your budget or take out an unnecessary loan. Two, it makes negotiating much easier if you can offer to pay cash right away. Don't let numbers get the best of you. Sometimes an old car with 170,000 miles can be in much better condition than a car that's 10 years younger with half the miles. The big age numbers will drive down the price of the car 
but not necessarily the quality or value of the car. That's why it's so important to test drive and inspect each car you consider. Don't be afraid of cosmetic issues. Most cosmetic issues, aside from dents, rips, or cracks, can easily be made like new with a simple detail job. Cars that are dirty, with stains and scuffs, will often be priced hundreds of dollars below cars that are in the same mechanical condition, but look cleaner. A good detail job can be done for $100 to $200 and it'll make your car look like new. The same can be said for if you're selling your old car in order to afford a new sports car. Make it look clean and the people will pay. Know what to look for. Do your research. Find out what cars are being sold in your area. Test drive lots of different cars. Find out what models are reliable, what models to avoid. I test drove probably a dozen different cars before I finally decided to buy my Miata. A few examples of cheap sports cars are Porsche 924s, Porsche 944s, Mazda RX-7s, RX-8s, MX-5 Miatas like mine, 90s Ford Mustangs, BMW E30s, and if you have a higher budget you could even get into early 2000s Porsche Boxsters, Honda S2000s, and many more. Buy your own parts and do your own maintenance. Most mechanics will charge you over $70 just for an hour of labor. Shops make a big chunk of their money on marking up parts that they sell to you. They often even have deals with a limited number of parts suppliers, which means that you might not even be getting the best product for your car. Use eBay, Craigslist, Junkyards, and friends to find cheap parts. Join your local enthusiast club. Join forums, Facebook pages, anything related to cars or your car in particular. Online communities can be a huge help when you're looking for parts or advice on how to perform maintenance and upgrades. It's free advice. I learned pretty much everything I know about maintaining a car from YouTube and Facebook. If your car is a 1996 or later, maybe invest in a $20 OBD2 reader so you can pull the codes off your car when the check engine light is on. Most mechanics will charge you a full hour of service just to have that done. Or you can just take your car to the local auto parts chain and they'll do a diagnostic for free. Lastly, don't give up. If you're willing to work hard, make some sacrifices, and do your own research, you can easily buy your own sports car. It's always a good thing when there's more cool cars being driven on the roads every day. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more cool cars and hear more about economics, try clicking on the subscribe button for me. Thank you.